and interesting stories and interesting shipwrecks. Kevin Dykstra and Frederick Monroe. It's just a shipwreck that uh, has the curiosity of many. Are shipwreck hunters. For somebody else to find it, it would be, it would be very hard. Treasure hunters of sorts. Care. I've known about the Griffin for a long time. During an underwater expedition in northern Lake Michigan in 2011. And it really wasn't until we got back to the computer and viewed the photos that we realized I very well could have been photographed in the Griffin. The pair stumbled on this holy grail of Great Lake shipwrecks. So as I turned around, I was literally four feet away from this shipwreck. By accident. And never seen it on my way down, so my return trip was quite fast. I think there's a good possibility that it is the Griffin. We researched online to find a um, 17th century French Griffin. And the one we came up with, I, I overlaid it on top of the photo, and it's, it's really impressive. So it's either a, a hundred to one odds that the front of this ship looks exactly like a griffin, and I don't know how that ever could happen just by happenstance. And to know that the wood carvers that built the griffin carved the likeness of a griffin on the front of the ship. When they found this treasure, Kevin and Frederick were actually looking for a different kind of treasure. We were looking for um, $2 million in gold bullion. It's at the bottom of uh, the Great Lakes or Lake Michigan in a boxcar. Confederate gold coins that were stolen in the 1800s. We kind of look at this shipwreck as the one that got in our way. We found the, the ship, the interesting mystery ship, the Griffin, and um, now we're going for the gold. But until then, Kevin and Frederick can claim that the mystery of the infamous Griffin is a mystery no more. Kevin and Frederick say that they waited three years to go public with their discovery of the Griffin because they wanted to contact as many es experts as possible to review their pictures and video and do enough research to make sure they feel they've done that.